Okay, um, thank you, Reverend Taylor. So we're calling uh, the meeting to order, obviously. It's official congregational meeting. Um, looks like it's about, is that 11.45? Um, so we just had the opening prayer. So I just wanted to say a few words, too. Um, I have, I call a reflection. Um, so I, I hope you'll bear with me for a few minutes before we get into kind of the, um, the, the business of the day. So again, before we get started with the orders of business, I just wanted to share some thoughts. As with all people, there are trying times throughout our lives. There are varying degrees of hardship and trial, from illnesses to unexpected deaths of family or friends, from financial hardship like losing your job or an unexpected large expense, from just plain old nothing seems to be going right, to local, country, and worldwide crises. For me, this came in the form over the last six months of being laid off, although it was expected. <laughs> Not starting a business, Jerry and I thought we would, although that ended up being a good decision. Catherine going off to college, although she's doing great. Uh, my dad having medical issues, two hospital rehab stays, procedures, tests, doctor's appointments. He's doing well, nearly back to normal. Jerry starting a new job as Town of Burlington Zoning Enforcement Officer. And me starting a new one just this past week as part-time executive director of the New Britain Symphony. Like I said, in the charity of concerns, our next concert's March 10th, 3 p.m. at Central Connecticut State University, if anyone wants to go. Uh, but in all serious, now I, I know many have and are going through much worse. God bless each and every one of you who have trying times. An organization or group of people is no different than a person or family. There are trying times, changes, people leaving, new people coming, various trials and tribulations, conflicts, misunderstandings, bad assumptions, hurt feelings, and misinformation. Our congregation is no different. Yes, we have had trying times in the past, now, and for sure in the future. Some bad, some not so bad. Things could be worse, things could be better. You will hear about some of those things in our committee reports. But you know what I found? There was no epiphany for me, no aha moment, but I figured some stuff out over time. In little steps, I didn't even realize were happening at the time sometimes. I guess being laid off with no job gives you more time to reflect. <laughs> I know my walks with my dog got longer and longer, which is honestly when I do most of my reflection. Not on purpose most of the time, but because it's quiet. I am hearing and seeing God's gift of nature around me, and it just makes my mind clear and quiet. Anyways, I think about all that has happened to Jerry and I recently, and what has happened with us here, our church. It isn't all that bad, compared to other things that could be much worse. Yeah, some things could have been handled better. We are not perfect. No one or organization is. But I have come to believe that things happen for a reason. As some say, when one door closes, another opens. As others say, it is God's will, or God works in mysterious ways. What I have come to know, really remind myself of, is that there is good in everything. I think that is Jesus' little way of spreading his light and love in all those little places, spaces in life. Maybe you don't even know it's there for a long, long time. But then one day you realize, duh, it's been there all along. I think about that when I think about our church. Of course I, know, I knew and know our church is good. Despite some of the trying times we have, and sometimes how much I was like, geez, come on, <laughs> during the week. But every week I look forward to coming here on Sunday to sit in the sanctuary and just feel our Lord's presence and warmth. As Reverend Taylor says to us so many times and ways, he is, he is always there, just hanging out, waiting patiently for us to say, hey, thanks for being here. So as you listen to the rest of the folks today, I hope you recognize that, yeah, it is pretty cool to have a bedrock, bedrock place like this to come to. It is always here, just hanging out, waiting patiently. We have challenges, we have needs, but we have so many blessings too. I, praise that, I pray that you see that, and when you hear some ask for help today and over the course of the coming weeks, months, and years, you will say, yeah, I like this place too, and I could help out in some way for sure. Because while not perfect, it is home and family. And that is good and beloved. Just like in the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, when George Bailey realized when he lived again and ran through town and said, Merry Christmas, you wonderful old building alone. And then came, and then when he ran into his house and bounded up the stairs to see Zuzu, 
And the knob on the banister came off in his hand for the umpteenth time, and he kissed it, and he said, this wonderful old house. That is what I think we, this church, is like. A wonderful life, a wonderful place with all its imperfections that will always be. I think that is what God had in mind when he created us and the earth. It was not meant to be perfect. Things will get messed up. But that is why he sent his son, Jesus, to give us a clue on how we might deal with all that imperfection. Lord knows Jesus paid the ultimate price for teaching us, or at least desperately trying to, how to deal with it all. At the very least, we can respect that sacrifice by trying to live by the teachings he gave us. So in closing, here is a reading from Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. Not that I have already obtained this, or I'm already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies ahead and straining forward to what lies ahead, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Jesus Christ. Amen.